Welcome back friends. Welcome you all in the second session of ECMA Script 2015 Crash Course by Tutorial Live. So in the last session, we have seen in the last session of Crash Course, not on the detailed session. In the Crash Course session, we have seen variables available in JavaScript, primitive data types and the non-primitive data types. So today we will start from arrow function. What is arrow function? So arrow function is basically a fat arrow double equal to and uh, sorry equal to and the greater than sign that is known as the arrow function but it is too much useful in javascript it will precise the code for us rather than the native javascript that what we write it do the same functionality it does the same functionality for us but once we write the code using fat arrow function or the arrow function it will precise the code for us how let's see so here is an example suppose we have to calculate the square of any value so in native javascript how we can write the function so the function name we can name anything i have named it as square okay then equal to we need the square of the function so that's why we need one parameter for that particular function so this is x the parameter that uh, with which we can calculate the we can pass the value in this particular parameter then equal to where square result x into x that value into x uh, that value into that value that will return the square of the top function and it will return this particular calculation that square result so this is something in the native javascript okay but in the ecmascript format not in uh, plain javascript format but while we need to write this particular function in uh, we using arrow function fat arrow function however this is also been written as the fat arrow with the fat arrow function in normal function what we will do we will write function square then we will take a parameter something like this function square then a parameter then curly braces then return x into x sorry x so this will be something our function that will return the square of the total function in native javascript okay but in using fat arrow we can write like this however if you want to precise this particular code we can use like this we have this particular function let square we can write like let square equal to x the parameter then fat arrow x into x so it will return the square of our value let's calculate square new let me name it square new and if i call this particular function now square let me write it console dot log square new of 2 so it's returning 4 so that is something a precise way of writing this similar function what we have written using fat arrow only in three lines we can write like this also why because this particular function is returning only one operation that is x into x so we can write like this also similarly with the addition function i have written here that is let add add is the function name x and y are the two parameters which we need to add and what will be the output it will be x plus y if I just call this particular function, you can see result of this particular add 1 comma 2. If I just change it 3 comma 2, the addition value will be 5 that we are seeing here. So let's comment out these particular three function, the addition and the multiplication function. Moving forward, we have this particular number array 1, 2, 3, 4. The, there are four elements of this particular array. If I want to uh, iterate through this particular array, and want to get the sum of this particular these all values we can do it easily using the arrow function and the for each function for each what it will do it will iterate through each and every element that is present in this particular array means first time once it will iterate the value will be one then second value two then third value three then fourth value four and just we need to write the function that will sum the value of these elements so what we will do we will just write where sum equal to zero we need one variable where we can store the sum of these value so we have declared one variable where sum equal to zero now this is the array numbers array dot 4 h the normal function then in the opening bracket we will write like n n is the number the elements 
through which each and every time once array this this particular for each loop will iterate that is the number then equal to this particular sum variable plus equal to n so what it will do it will iterate through each and every element and every time it will add the value to the previous sum so first time 0 0 plus 1 1 then 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 so result will be available by getting this particular sum value so you can see we have the sum here now if i want to just uh, double this array how we can do using arrow function so we have this particular array 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 1 2 3 4 i want the output something like this 2 3 4 5 so in es5 rather before writing the array uh, this particular function in es6 format let's see how we can write this particular thing to get this output in es5 format so what it will do let me uncomment this i have declared one es5 incremented array number array dot map map is the uh, uh, iterative function of which we can apply on in any array map function it will take this particular function parameter it is a native es5 javascript function not the es6 function we will write the same thing in es6 in couple of minutes so this is a function that will return n is the number or the element of the array once we start it iterating through this particular array we will get each and every element of the array using this particular n that is the parameter of this particular function what we need every time once we increment map will return a new array updated array the functionality of map it will return let me hover it so what it will do we can see calls a defined defined callback function on each element of the array and returns an array that contains the result it will return the updated array that is the result of our function so that in that way we are calling the function map function here and here we are writing n plus 1 whatever the element will be come in this particular function it will increment the value of that particular element by 1 so in this way we can write this function and get the output like this so if i just console.log this particular thing so we can see this yes in es5 yes we are getting this particular output but in the same thing we need to write in es6 using arrow function how we can write this particular thing okay one more thing this is the explicit return why we are calling it explicit return we are writing return statement here we are returning only one thing that is the incremented array and we are explicitly explicitly saying that we need to return something from this function that's why it is an explicit return now if i just write the same function in es6 using fat arrow or the arrow function what it will do we will use the same map function here again okay because it will return the updated array now we have to work on the on the elements of the array that is the n n equal to n plus 1 n plus 1 and fat arrow then n plus 1 it will root through all the elements of the array and increment the value by 1 and it will return as we are using math function it will return an updated array with the new values so as we are not calling here return function because this particular function will has only one functionality to return this kind of value which is an incremented array by 1 so we are we need not to write the in return statement here we can write like this also we need this not this particular bracket the curly braces bracket okay we need not this particular function we just need the element and whatever functionality we need to perform on this particular element without the return statement as we are returning only one thing only one line from this particular function so that's why we can do the implicit return also this function will also return the incremented array let's see whether the output is same or not yes the output is same so we can see the three lines of the code get precise in only one only single line so this is the benefit of using fat arrow similarly we can if you want to update the array with a new value we will again use the map function there are so many other functions also that we can iterative function in array we will discuss it later but at this time we are using this map function what it will do it will update the array whatever element are present in this particular array number array we have one two three four four elements it will update and replace it with rg value okay and we will have four rg in this particular array that is expected we can have here if i just want to filter the array okay whatever the value we have greater than two we can do the operation here similarly the filter function will help here 
similarly we are using map to get the updated array the filter function is here that will return the array with the specified condition we can see here return the elements of an array that meets the condition specified in a callback function so we can get this particular value so filter array will be whatever value we have in this particular array greater than 2 it will return the, those value so it is 3 and 4 so that is all on the arrow function let's move forward on the template strings so template strings is something new if we want to represent a string in ES6 way so let's see what is template string template string so as I told you in the last session also once we are discussing uh, the uh, data types we have seen that we if you want to represent a string in ES6 way we can use this particular tilt sign okay this particular tick sign not the tilt sign it is a tick sign back tick sign okay that is available on the tilt key on windows laptop okay i am using the windows laptop that's why i can tell you it is below the esc key where we have the tilt sign available there we can use this particular back tick sign also so in native javascript if you want to represent any string what we can do we can use the double quotes we can use the single quotes also but here we can use the back tick sign also so what I want to do, I want to concatenate this particular string. My name is the F name value, then plus a blank space, then L name value, then age is 33 years old. How we can write this? We can write like this also, like using the concatenation operator plus. Okay, so that will return. Okay, my name is then F name value Rohit plus blank space, then Gupta, age is 33 years old. Now. The template strings tells us that we can do the same thing okay by using because here what we need to do we have to use this particular concatenation operator then we have to end this particular string then we have to start up a new string we can write like a normal format like my name is we need not to use this concatenation operator what we need to use we will directly use these variables those are available within the curly braces and then to get the value we need to use dollar symbol so what we need to do we can write like we can write our string in backtick symbol okay then we can write if you want to get some evaluate any value from a variable we can use the dollar symbol and the curly braces within curly braces we can write those variables it will automatically evaluate the value that is for that variable so in this way we can directly get the value we need not to use this starting uh, single quotes then closing single quotes then this particular concatenation operator we can like evaluate the value like this also so this is the template string similarly using the template string we can do any kind of calculation if you want to double our age we can do the calculation here age into 2 you can see the value is age is 66 years old so this the template string can help us if we need to do any simple calculation we can do within the curly braces also and this will ease our writing the concatenation operator if we want to concatenate any string with some values predefined variables so that is the easiest thing to do using template string in ES6 now moving forward we will see the ES6 classes as I told you ES6 is purely based on oops concept so we have classes concept here we have constructor concept here we have uh, inheritance concept here we can create classes and the child classes okay so what we need to do okay we'll see one by one as I told you we have constructor concept here so let me comment out this particular part for the time being and open this one thing so we have one constructor of the class mind it once we are creating any constructor like any other uh, programming language c c plus plus dot net anything we have to write in other programming language what we do we write the class name to create the constructor but here we need to write constructor and we can create parameterized as well as non-parameterized constructor so where here i have created the parameterized constructor we have two parameters name and age why i am writing here this dot name because we are trying to represent this particular class this dot name equal to name so this is something once we call this dot name it will take this particular variable name and this dot is this particular age similarly for the timing just 
forgot these two functions if i call this particular function right now and want to create a object this particular imply class okay so what it will return how we can create the object of the classes in our programming language if i want to create any object of the classes we use the new keyword similarly here we will again use the new keyword only and we will pass two parameters so what this particular function this particular class is returning it is not returning anything at this time it has two methods okay but we are not calling calling those methods we are just trying to console.log this particular implied details so we have passed name rohit gupta and age is 33 years so imply class is returning that we have two parameters and the value for name is rohit gupta and age is 33 years old now let's comment out this particular constructor and con create a new constructor that is having three parameters name age and profession profession is kind of array how we can do that we can just once we are calling this particular once we are creating the object of the class using me keyword only third parameter we are passing like square bracket we know in ES6, if we want to create any array, we just need the square brackets. If we define it equal to square bracket, then that particular variable will considered as array. So here also we have passed three parameters and three at the th place of third parameter. What I did, I just passed a blank square bracket. So it will return. We can see here we have professions like array. If I just enlarge it, it is type of array and the length is at this time zero now moving forward if i just pass this particular array with two values what will happen let's see we have passed two values developer and blogger we can see the array has been updated with two values the first one is developer and blogger the profession one and it is type of array which is having at the 0th index it's developer the first one and the on the first index it's blogger the length of this particular array is now two so in the similar way we can create constructor of the class we can create object of the class we can call the classes okay we can pass some variable uh, we can pass the parameter values to the constructor now if i want to create some methods in the class so i have created one method speak method what it will do it will console.log it will log some value in my console my name is then the same template string format dollar and in the curly braces this dot name this dot name oh sorry this dot name then age is this dot age years and the age is this dot age years if i now call this particular implies p imply details is the imply details is the object of this particular class or if i want to call this particular method what i will i will do i will just directly call imply details dot speak method so as it is console.logging this particular message, my name is Rohit Gupta and age is 33 years old. Similarly, I have created one more method that is a parameterized method. It has one parameter that is area. And what it is doing, it is pushing some new, this dot profession, profession is an array. So we can use push method in last tutorial only, in the last crash course tutorial we have seen, oh no, we haven't seen yet. Once we'll discuss the array method, then we will discuss this particular push method the push method is used to push a new add a new element from the rear end of this part to the array if you want to see the details about push method you can follow my detailed javascript tutorial in the same tutorial live channel i'll put the link in the comment section so what i can do uh, so here what i am doing i am pushing a new element to this particular area uh, to, to this particular uh, profession array so here we have two elements developer and blogger now if i call this particular method employee.work and i am passing one parameter self so what it should return this particular method is right returning the professions of this particular array the professions array so we can see we have not developer blogger and self so this is something a detailed idea about ES6 classes, how we can create constructor, how we can create some methods, how we can call the methods, how we can create object of the classes. This is purely object oriented programming. So we can use all the oops concept what we have learned in other programming language. Also, we can implement the same here also. Now moving forward on the very important topic that is the rest parameter. It is widely used once you will start working on react.js. So 
let's start with that rest parameter so rest parameter is if we have any array this parameter syntax allows us to represent indefinite number of arguments to an array i have written it here also it will allow us to represent an indefinite number of arguments to an array where it will work it will work only with the array functions last prefix last parameter can be prefixed with three dot and which will cause all the remaining parameters all the remaining parameters that can user supply at the run time okay so here but yes one more thing here we want to we have to understand the rest parameter only can be the last parameter of any function or any array so what i have did i have created one function where we have passed this particular two parameters and the last parameter with triple dot that is a rest parameter syntax three dots then many more arcs i have named it many more arcs and console.log logging this value the rest arcs are the many more arcs so here once i am calling this my function i am passing for the a and b one and two but here there are three dots on the place of this particular many more arcs i am passing three four five six so these are the parameters means we i can see there are only three parameters a b and this particular rest parameter however once calling this particular function what i am trying to do i am passing one two three four six parameters means four three additional parameters so what it will do once it will see that there are three dots means we are calling the rest parameter so it will consider that after two parameters whatever the parameters are there these are the rest parameters so once you can see once we are console.log this particular rest args okay this variable it is having rest args having four values three four five and six now on the second example let rest parameter one there is one more function name and the numbers okay i want the sum of if i pass some numbers here i need the sum of those numbers we will pass only numbers to the function so what will happen let's see there is a result okay number dot for each this is the for each function which will return the sum of all the values that we will pass okay so here what i am trying to do let result parameter one equal to rest parameter i am creating a new variable result parameter one rest parameter one and passing the value rohit comma one two three four five six rohit is the value for name parameter however this is the rest parameter as i see as we have seen earlier also so all the parameters that i will pass after rohit it will be considered as this particular rest parameter so what i am trying doing here in this particular function i am performing a for each iteration okay and trying to sum all the values so if i console dot log at this time the result parameter one will return the sum of this particular thing so 6 5 11 4 15 3 18 to 20 121 some of the rest parameter is 21 so we can do the operation like this also then the second thing if i do the same thing with this particular first parameter rest parameter rohit so what it will do it if this is a string so it will return zero we cannot sum this particular thing so this is something very important thing once we will work on the redux we need to use this particular rest parameter very oftenly so we need to understand the concept of this particular rest parameter now moving forward to the spread operator spread operator also similar to the rest parameter the but the functionality is different because in rest parameter also uh, in spread operator also we use the three dots only as rest parameter do so let's see what is uh, the spread operator spread operator is to extend the array and there we are defining in rest parameter it is the last parameter of the function that will allow us to pass indefinite number of arguments to the array or to the function but here it is used to extend the array okay how we can extend the array so suppose we have one scenario where we have two arrays the first one array is having two elements and the second one array is having also two elements now what i need to do we need to just create an array with this kind of value rohit dwarika then we need one more element in between and the, and the element of this particular array so how we can do this in if i go to the traditional way i will create one array like this let all names then what i will do i will concatenate 
the first one array we know the concat method will help us to concatenate the array we will see this method in detail once we will discuss the array methods okay so for the timing we just understand that concat method will help us to concatenate two arrays so this is an empty array if i recalling this particular concat method and this particular names array so now the output will be something like we have two elements rohit and dwarika the output will be something like this now what we need to do we need to add one more uh, element like roshan so we will push in all names this particular array will push one new name that is roshan now the output will be something rohit dwarika and then roshan now we need to again concatenate the array all names dot concat the next one array more names and then if i see the output so we have all names like rohit dwarika roshan ravi and rajesh but there we have to do 1 2 3 4 4 lines of coding to get this particular value we can do using spread operator in the single line let's comment out this particular console dot log for the for the timing so we won't get confused so we have two arrays what i will do i will spread this array let's see what happening here first if i just spread this particular array names array what it will return it will return rohit dwarika okay we have two elements rohit and dwarika it will return rohit dwarika so similarly if i do this use this particular spread operator here what it will do it will return rohit dwarika then comma roshan whatever element we need to post then again we will spread this particular next array so it will create an array with all the values rohit dwarika roshan ravi and rajesh so four lines of code in only single line using a spread operator so this is very useful and very precise way to write codes next example the spread operator of if i have x y z three function i want to return this particular sum what i will do we have three functions here spread operator we am passing three parameters for x y and z and i want the sum of these particular value so if we have let a equal to 4 5 6 all values what what whatever will be the all values there is a is having 4 5 6 and i am spreading this particular a array in between 7 8 and 9 now if i want to sum those array or all values in the b what 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 are the elements will be the in the array it will be 1 2 3 then the a elements array a, a elements from the a array that is 4 5 6 and then 7 8 9 so we can see all values in b are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so Uh, it's it's a longer session today let's stop it here and in the next session we will discuss the array methods and the array iterative methods so in the next session we will complete the ecma script 2015 crash course that will be the last session and the session third so that's all for today thanks for joining hope to see you in the next session